problem happened on this Freelander Columbia from the year 2009. It was smoking a lot and the engine wasn't working fine as you could see at the beginning of the video. And if you wonder what was the cause of the issue, of course, fuel injectors. Fuel injectors went bad on this Freelander Columbia with a Series 60 engine and causing different type of issues. Uh, after we replaced the injectors, the engine was just running fine with no problems. As you can see right now, engine starts with no problem. But knowing the cause of the problem, why you are going to replace the injectors, that's a good thing. That is the reason why it's important to have the proper tools to know what type of repair you are going to do. On the DDL software, there is a test called ISB. The, it stands for idle speed balance. This test will allow you to see how the performance of the injectors are while, while the engine is running. And this will tell you how the performance or how the each individual injector is uh, working to compensate the other injectors of the other cylinders. In this case, doing the idle speed balance is the easiest way to know which cylinder is the one that isn't working fine. As you can see at the screen right now, we have two cylinders on red and two cylinders on yellow. This means that this engine is trying to compensate as much as possible to keep the engine stable. And the reason why there is two in red is because we have two different types of issues. We have overfueling and no fueling at all. So the engine is compensating one side with, over, with no fueling at all because the other one is fueling too much, but still it, it is just leaking a lot and that's the reason why we, it is smoking a lot. Once we remove the injectors, we can see that they all look in a good condition. There is nothing broken inside the engine. There is no problems with the injectors like broken springs, broken injectors, or anything that is out of place. You can clearly see that everything looks on place. So that means that everything that is happening to this truck is internally. The injectors are leaking fuel internally, and this is causing this amount of smoke. Then this engine doesn't stop. And this is so curious. At the beginning of the video, I showed them the engine is running, and then when you turn off the engine, you see that the engine barely stops, like it, it struggles to stop. And the reason why this happening is because the fuel keeps on getting dropped or injected to the cylinder chamber, and this is causing the engine to non-stop. That's the reason why you turn the ignition off, the engine keeps on going, until eventually it dies out. This is a big issue when you have injector issues. For example, you have a truck that have any type of injector issues similar to this one, and the system is getting overfueled. It is a big problem because there could be a moment where the fuel can just continuously getting delivered to the to the combustion chamber, even when you have already turned off the ignition, and this is going to give you a big problem, engine run away, this is going to be a situation where the engine is not going to stop even though then you already stopped the ignition on, you can turn off, I mean disconnect the batteries, you can do so many things and the engine will still continue on uh, running. So the only way to stop this is by cutting the fuel lines completely and then the engine will die out because it has no more fuel. But is going to be a big problem if this happens to you. But in this case of this series 60, the problem is solved after replacing all the injectors. After we did replace all the injectors, yeah, the problem went away, but this is what is going on. If fuel injectors went bad internally, they were leaking inside from the needle all the way to the combustion chamber, causing different type of issues. Then it's smoking, engine unstable, and low power. Fuel consumption was another one, but that's obvious because we have a lot of fuel delivered to the combustion chamber. After replacing the injectors, it's very important on these old Series 60s engines, it's very important to calibrate the injector to specifications. Because most of the time, the calibration gets completely 
away because of the time of use, the mileage, the wear and tear of the engine. So putting a new injector means that the calibration is going to be a little off. So calibrating the engine back to specifications will actually make sure that the engine is going to work fine. And if you do calibrate the injector to the specification, you have to actually calibrate the intake and exhaust valves too, so that way everything works in harmony with the engine. But this is just how it is like if you get this problem, if you get your city 60s engine, then it's running and it's smoking a lot and the engine is unstable. If you, if you see at the beginning, I showed and the truck didn't have any type of fault codes. There is no codes at all showing any type of issues related to overfueling or injector failure because the problem is mechanical. The codes only come on if we have any electronic issues, but in this case, we don't have electronic issues. Everything is mechanical. So that's the reason why we are getting this issue right here on this truck. Then it wasn't showing any type of fault, but it was failing. After replacing inject the injectors, of course, the engine ran fine, as I said before, and we don't have no more issues about it. The smoke then was throwing after we started up from the first time, it eventually went away because it was because of the overfueling that was captured inside the exhaust system. But after the engine ran for a couple miles, it went away. I mean, couple for a couple minutes, it went away. So uh, this is pretty much all I have for you guys about this situation with this Detroit C60 on a Freightliner Columbia. And uh, this is just a demonstration on how to find this issue. It's pretty simple. These engines are more easier. They're, um, they're, these engines are easier to work. They're more flexible on how you can do things. They're a little more friendly to mechanics than DD15 engines. DD15 engines are more complicated than these ones. But still, if you have some knowledge on these ones, you can work on DD15s and it's not going to be a big difference if you already have experience working or solving many different type of issues on different engines. But uh, right now we have all right here. This is all about the video. Um, and if you definitely replace one injector, like I'm gonna give you this uh, advice from myself. If you get in this issue, and if it's only one injector, the one is actually leaking out inside the cylinder, it's better to replace all the injectors at the same time because it's going to save you a lot of money later. But it is just optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. If you have the budget to afford replacing all the injectors, do it. But if you don't, it's all right. So any questions, go to the comment section below. Go to the description of the video so you can see any type of um, details on how to send support to my channel. Go to Instagram and look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. And um, like the video, share and subscribe. It's very important. I really appreciate that you guys are really um, liking my content. And I'm trying to do my best to do it better every time. But, you know, uh, um, sometimes I fail, but it, it is about about it you know i am not 100 percent perfect but i'm trying to help so thank you for watching